Coach, from a hustle standpoint, you guys had 14 steals and 18 offensive rebounds. Was this the most complete no. 40 minutes you guys have played all season? No, not even close. That's who we are. You know, I think we're uh, plus uh, nine on the boards uh, for the year. Um, we're, um, I mean, what do you think, Armani? Nate, you guys ask, answer that question. You're going out there playing. Honestly, I feel like everybody could have had a little bit more just to, just from my standpoint. I, I could have uh, had definitely had some more uh, offensive rebound opportunities and defensive rebounds. I don't know if it's the most. I just think this is very similar to Oregon game or LSU game, uh, St. Louis game. We play so many good teams. Um, but that's kind of our identity, uh, the things that you just mentioned. I think we're pretty good on all those areas. So uh, that's why I said that's – you know, it's kind of who we are, uh, rather than um, maybe was this our most complete game? I shouldn't say maybe. I shouldn't say no. I just it just seems like it's very similar to all the games we play. Kelvin, in that first half, yeah, you guys kind of weathered a, a storm. I think you were one for eleven at one point shooting. Um, just well, kinda... look who was shooting it. You know, our best shooter was sit. Our best shooter Outro. was. Um, uh, sitting over there for 15 uh, minutes and some odd seconds, you know. Corey's a lot better shooter on the floor than he is beside uh, beside me. But uh, we haven't shot the ball well all year, you know. Um, what was Corey tonight? Three for 10. Last game he was six for 11, and Armani was two for nine. We haven't had a game yet where those two guys shot the ball well. I remember uh, the game at uh, BYU. Uh, we, we won there. Armani, I think, was one for eight. Corey made a bunch of shots. And then at Oklahoma State, Armani made seven in that game. And I don't think Corey made uh, very many. So uh, those two guys are kind of tag teaming each other. Really haven't had a game where we've just shot the ball well. But other guys are getting better. You know, uh, the freshman over here is getting better. Said Alley's a freshman, uh, he's getting better. Uh, Jarrell is like a freshman. He didn't even play last year. He's, a, he's like a freshman. He's getting better. Gresham's like a freshman, even though they're sophomores. They haven't played since March of 2017 uh, before uh, this season. Uh, so we've got a lot of young guys uh, that are developing. Fabian White is a sophomore. Uh, so I just like the uh, direction that our young guys are getting. But our, our, our staff, our assistant coaches, do, do a phenomenal job with uh, player development. That's, I think, the strength of our program is our player development. How, how do you, you say that's how, who we are and how we play. How do you create that? You know, I've had a dollar for every time somebody's asked me that question over 30 years. Um, I'd go buy you uh, a nice dinner. You know, it's, it's a fair question. Uh, it's like asking somebody, uh, it's, it tr it's like describing what the Atlantic Ocean looks like to somebody who's never seen water. <laughs> Think about that. We're, we're trying to describe somebody how to fix a watch. You know, I, I don't know if there is a uh, direct, I'm not trying to, to make light of your question, but I just don't know how to answer it. I just, my, all, all the teams I've coached play like that. You know, I think that's, you, you coach to your personality. You know, if you brought back players from Montana Tech, Washington State, Oklahoma, Indiana, uh, Houston, and put them in a room and started talking about practices and uh, things that coach um, uh, demands, I think there would be a lot of similarities. You know, um, you know, I just think you're, you know, getting kids to compete is a lot different than getting them to play hard. I think every team plays hard, but not every team competes. And we have to do that. You know, we're, um, um, you know, e even our, you know, our final four team we had didn't have any NBA players. But I thought we were as good as anybody in the country because of that, what you, what you just said. We just, we play hard. We compete. You know, rebounding is a, a choice. You know, um, we demand. You know, we don't discuss or negotiate effort. You know, we demand effort and we hold kids accountable. Um, there's consequences for not playing hard in our practices. But again, I go back to our staff and our strength coach. Um, you know, we're intense in the weight room. We're intense in conditioning. We're intense in our one-on-one -on -one workouts, uh, one-on-zero workouts, two-on-two, three-on-three. That's, that's our culture. 
You know, I think everybody has something that they're known for, good, bad, or indifferent. We're all known for something. You know, so if that's the case, why not dictate what you want to be known for? So, Armani, what are your thoughts on the, the atmosphere in, in the crowd today? Man, they're amazing. You know, just having that arena filled up like that is uh, <clears throat> A lot of juice, it hypes us up a lot, you know, just having uh, great fans like that. And um, we just hope that they keep coming out and supporting us the way they've been doing. Nate, as a freshman, what is it to be a part of a 15-0, 28-0 run? Um, honestly, it's a blessing because um, I know a lot of um, people could have – a lot of people, a lot of my peers, they're in um, different situations, and, um, and come, me coming in this situation, uh, having leaders on this team and a, the leadership of the coach and and the staff and everybody, uh, the head coach, he demands a lot from me. Uh, you know, being 15 and 0, we have senior leadership basically. That's what I meant to say. The senior leadership is is the key thing. Um, you know, they lead us in everything since, since I got here in the summertime. So. That's, uh, it's amazing, honestly, and I'm just enjoying the ride and just keep working because, you know, there's, we don't have a ceiling right now, so just keep pushing and pushing and keep working. Coach, how do you explain the Atlantic Ocean? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, your view of the conference, how do you see that? Obviously, you guys are on, doing tremendously. What's your view of the conference generally? Um, not sure. You know, I haven't seen everybody play. You know, I was uh, before our game today. I watched uh, Wichita State and um, Temple. First time I'd seen Temple all year. I saw Wichita State because I watched their, uh, you know, our video uh, staff chopped up the uh, edited the uh, Wichita State game. So I hadn't seen them. I, I just haven't seen a lot of teams uh, uh, play. I know that um, Cincinnati was picked to win the league. I know Cincinnati. Uh, excuse me, Central Florida was picked to win the league, and I think Cincinnati was picked to finish second. So. And I, and I know what Central Florida has back with uh, uh, their kids, with Johnny. Um, from what I can tell, I, I don't think the, um, uh, the league is as cut up as it was. You know, last year it was clear that uh, Cincinnati, Houston, and Wichita State were the three best teams in the league last year. That was clear. And then after that, <clears throat> there was a, a group, and then there was a group at the bottom. Uh, this year, I think there's uh, more teams that can win the conference. I don't think um, it's just Cincinnati, which, uh, Houston, Cincinnati, Wichita State. I don't think it's just three. You know, it, just, it seems like there's a lot of teams that um, uh, could win it. I think the parity is obviously um, in our league, but I think that's going to happen with all the good coaches we have. Coach, what does it say about your team that you can hold a team in the 50s one night and then you can score 90 on somebody the next night? Well, Memphis is a hard team to hold down. Um, they have just so, so many guys. I mean, the Bruton kid, you know, he, he hadn't uh, been one of their leading scorers, but tonight, what do you have, 25? Um, you know, we, we prepared for um, – Harris and Martin, Davenport, uh, Jones, because those were their best players against Wichita State. And all of a sudden, you know, we did a great job on those guys, um, but Bruton. But that just tells you how good Memphis is, is that they, they can have somebody kind of outside, outside their uh, main guy step up and go get 25 on the road against a good team. But, um, you know, we, we've been, we can score the ball. But um, uh, this is the best offensive team we've played. And that's, no, that's nothing against Oregon or LSU. BYU was really good offensively, too. Um, and we've played so many good teams. You know, Oklahoma State's got kids that can score. Um, but, you know, we, we can score different ways. We guys can shoot it, we got guys that can drive it. You know, Giroux, uh, actually, I didn't think played that well. Uh, tonight he missed uh, so many layups. How many layups he missed? Um, he's four for eleven. I, honest to goodness, I think he missed three or four layups in the paint. Um, Fabian White. This is kind of early November for him. He had surgery uh, June twenty third. He had surgery June twenty third, and we didn't get him back until November thirtieth. So he's still coming back. Um, 
Giroux has only played a handful of games because he he's been out with injuries and different different things. But I just think our team can get better. Uh, the 15 and 0 is, doesn't matter. What matters is the 2 and 0. 2 and 0 is way more important. Armani, the uh, second half there they got, I think it was like 50 46. They kind of closed the gap and you went on a little bit of a tear. It looked like that's when you started really feeling it. I think you get 10 of the next 12. What was that that stretch for you and, and you know being able to knock down some of those key shots? Um, a lot of the shots were coming in transition, but we really, we really in the huddle, we were talking about getting stops. Uh, we had to get. We started with uh, getting one stop, leading to two stops, leading to three stops. And, uh, once we get a stop, that really leads to our transition offense, and that's where we feel like we're the best. Instead of having to walk the ball up the floor, you know, runner and call a play. So, just getting out in transition um, allows us to play the best basketball that we can. And I feel like we all feel like that's when we're at our best when we get stops and get out. Uh, Coach, going back to Dejan, um, even though he kind of struggled shooting the ball tonight, he finished with six assists right behind uh, Galen. Did you at least like the way that he was kind of distributing the ball? Yeah. No, we had uh, – what I really liked about our offense tonight is we had 20 assists on 33 made baskets. And that's kind of been our MO, too. We, we, we're a very unselfish team. Uh, we, we moved the ball. I swear – uh, Armani made a good point. Almost all of his threes came off an assist. You know, a lot of times our kids, Corey had a couple shots he could have attempted, but but that's our culture. You know, we, we emphasize all the things that we emphasize. Our kids are pretty good at, whether it's offensive rebounding, loose balls, uh, playing hard, uh, or as my father would say, hustle. Old guys, you say, well, he, he's a good hustler, son. He he hustles. I like that word. So our guys hustle. 